All right, well, this morning, Moderna shares are spiking. We're looking at gains of nearly 12% in today's action. This coming after the pharma giant's experimental cancer vaccine used alongside Merck's blockbuster drug. One of Merck's blockbuster drugs cut the risk of death or relapse of the most deadly form of skin cancer after three years by nearly half. Now, this is all according to mid-stage trial data released today. Yahoo Finance's Anjali Kamlani sat down with Moderna CEO Stefan Bansell about the announcement this morning. Let's take a listen. We are so happy for patients. Uh, you remember we were together last year with a two-year data in terms of survival, and it was 44%. And now it's close to 50%. And so if you think about it, that was compared to the best drug available today, which is Ketudra, used as monotherapy. And so it means one in two people will be able to be risk-free uh, uh, of, of a cancer three years out. And the data is actually improving, 44% at two years, now 49% at three years. And we have a lot of ideas how to even improve the technology further from new science, from uh, manufacturing. And so I think it's a big deal for melanoma patient. We're gonna work really hard to see how we can accelerate the launch in some countries potentially as early as 25. And then, no, it's not only melanoma. You know, we announced on Monday starting a phase three in lung, and we're going to have more phase three uh, starting in 2024. So that's going to be a very big platform within Moderna. Absolutely, and certainly validating the mRNA sort of platform, which is what I, I know the street has been waiting for. I want to talk about also the other uh, vaccines you have in your pipeline. We know RSV is set to launch next year. What can you tell us about that and sort of the rest of the pipeline, including flu, which we know you had to delay a little bit? Yeah, so we're very excited about RSV. Uh, as you know, RSV is the third respiratory virus after COVID and flu that kills people in the US every year. Um, and so uh, this new vaccine that have been launched by two other pharma company in the fall, it's the first time there's been an RSV vaccine. But what is exciting about our product is it's gonna be the most convenient product for pharmacists and for doctors because it will be in a pre-filled syringe. The current vaccine on the market are pretty cumbersome to prepare. Every time you have a new patient who wants a vaccine, the doctor, of a pharmacist have to do with one vaccine, nine steps of preparation. With your vaccine, four steps of preparation. With Moderna, basically prefix a range, you just inject it and you're done. And so if you think about the pharmacy retail chain, the independent pharmacist and the doctors and nurses, they are so busy. As you know, there's a lack of uh, healthcare worker given the aging of a population. And so we think we want to be part of a solution. And so we think we'll have a big launch I'm actually very engaged with the team on preparing the launch, and I'm very excited for that new product. That will be the second product, which also will mean and will be the proof that we have a platform. You know, we've been saying for many years, even you know, uh, before COVID, that mRNA uh, is enabled us to build a platform. The pharma and biotech industry have built what I call analog drugs, where every drug is different, where you have to reinvent the drug in the labs, clinical studies, and manufacturing. But with mRNA, we're able to go very fast uh, and we're able to get very high efficacy. So that's going to be a big game changer for medicine and patients. Definitely. But we also know that you're looking at realistically what the market is going to be. To your point, there are already two others on the market. And you've guided that by next year, uh, you anticipate that the COVID vaccine and the RSV vaccine, both in the later half of the year, will bring in about $4 billion. Right now, you're estimating just about $6 billion from the COVID vaccine. What can you tell us about the market and sort of the change that has happened since, you know, the tens of billions from the COVID era? Well, it's the thing that, of what you know, which is moving from a pandemic to an endemic. You know, if I just use myself as an example, in 2021, I got three shots because I got my two first one to start and then the booster in the fall of 21, when this year I got one shot. So it's pretty easy map that the market is resizing to an endemic setting where people are going to need an updated booster. I think there's still a lot of confusion. When you look, there's 150 million shots for flu there's only around 50 million shots for COVID in the US. Uh, and that's quite remarkable because if you look at the facts, as of last week, uh, there are 22,000 Americans hospitalized for COVID, last week. And there were 5,000 hospitalized for flu. That's 4X. 
you had four times more people getting hospitalized for COVID, but only a third of people getting a flu shot, also getting a COVID shot. And those are just the fact that we need to just as a society to work through and help people to understand that, you know, people that are in nursing homes should get protected. People that are at risk should get protected. Their risk with COVID is very serious. Mm -hmm. 22,000 Americans in hospital just last week. Yeah, that's right. And, and of course, one of the reasons why you're working on combo vaccines, we know that generally speaking, this isn't new uh, or just unique to you in terms of that pressure in the COVID space. But we'll definitely wait to see what the market looks like next year. Meanwhile, uh, you do also have some changes in the leadership. You are personally now overseeing the commercial process. And I wonder what that's going to look like and why you're taking this on. I'm taking this on because it's such an exciting opportunity. Uh, it's all about the sales growth. You know, we have a very strong pipeline. We have seven products in phase three. We have more than 40 products in development. I have, I'm lucky. I have an amazing partner, you know, Stephen Hogg, who has been with me since almost day one, who leads the science. He is really fantastic. And the strategy is very clear. As you just mentioned, the key for us is that we go out of the COVID pandemic into growth again, 24 and 25, as we said, uh, in our Q3 earnings call are really important for us. And as we looked at the priorities of a company, uh, we became very clear with the management team and the board that it would be helpful if we could accelerate the decision-making process, if we could accelerate relationships with key customers. And so I really want to use my time, plus that's a field I know pretty well, you know, my first job was a sales rep, I was a sales manager, I was a country manager. So I've done these type of things and I want to be very close to the team. I want to obsess about customer intimacy. How do we understand customer need in the retail pharmacy, at the wholesaler, the doctors? How do we position our product? How do we help them help their patient to uh, be better protected? I think it's a great opportunity for us. And that's one of the most important things I can do for Moderna in 24 and 25. Drive a top line, invest the proceeds in R&D. The platform is throwing a lot of products. So it's very exciting. All right. Well, the boss is back in the building for sure. Thank you so much for your time today. Moderna CEO, Stefan Benzel. And our thanks for that interview, Yahoo Finance reporter, Anjali Kemlani.